Welcome to the third installment of the fantastic Gerald Kensington. After a lengthy and somewhat pointless discussion with a man on a magic box about pandas, my assistant Rudiger and I hurried back to Buckingham Palace to report to Her Majesty, our only clues being the mysterious Russian newspapers and a single word, bananas. Sir, Mr. Kensington? Your Majesty! And Rudiger? Hmm? You have completed your mission. What have you to report? Well, Your Majesty, it appears that our enemies are armed with magnificent new technology. A man who I can only assume to be their leader appeared to me in a magic box of light. I see. Well, did you learn anything about the whereabouts of the missing pandas? Not as such, Your Majesty. These newspapers were disguised in the form of pandas in order to deceive us. Those newspapers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rudiger, don't burn the newspapers! But it burns purple. My goodness! It must contain some sort of chemical. Purple? Walter Richmond, you perfectly excellent idiot! Potassium sulfide burns purple, your majesty. Bananas! Purple? No, I mean bananas contain potassium. Purple bananas? What's wrong with him? He's American. Ex-marine. Adorable. Bananas aren't adorable. Not the bananas! American! Purple! Rodiger, stop purpling the bananas and start burning the queen! What? What? Not you! I mean, the pandas! Now, that is interesting. China, where pandas come from, is the largest exporter of potassium sulphide in the world. So why were the newspapers Russian? Beats me. Oh. It's highly likely that the Russian government is sympathetic of China's communist tendencies. This would explain why they both participate in international extracurricular events together. Rodiger, how do you know this? I read the sports section. Of course! The, the communist, communist games. games! I said of course first, it's my epiphany. After my epiphany that Russia and China are working together in the panda snatching, the Queen set about giving us our orders to deal with this predicament. None of us know what is truly in store for those pandas, or for us. The newspapers are Russian, the pandas are from China. Now what I really want to figure out is why that guy was German.